Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video um, on PlayStation 2 emulation on Android. Uh, my processor is a Snapdragon 855, my device is LG G8 and um, the, the app that I'm going to be using or the software is Aether SX2. Now this is like miles better than Daemon PS2 emulator on the, uh, well on Android. Uh, I, I did a tutorial on that previously, but this is like a lot better. There are no ads, it's much faster, and it's well, it's really good. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, well, you can just get the app off of Play Store, and you can also like download the ROMs from um, you can just go to Google and search for PS2 ROMs and you can find it. But if you have the discs, that's better. Uh, don't try to pirate it um, if you have the ability to you know just uh, rip it off of a disc anyways um, let me just go in and uh, here you can see I have a few games I have Jack and Dexter, Monster Hunter, Silent Hill Origins, Silent, Silent Hills 3, uh, The Simpsons, The Hidden Rock now uh, other than all of the I'll be testing out most of these games by the end so please uh, stay tuned until the end if you want to see how any of these games run but at first, I'd like to go over uh, the settings and how the settings work. So at first, you have the general settings. Um, just leave it as it is, in my opinion. But if you want to know uh, what speed you're running at, is it 100%, uh, how much of your CPU or GPU is being used, uh, you can come here and check it out. Uh, turn Enable these, you know, like show speed, show VPS, show CPU usage or GPU usage. Uh, then comes system. And then system... Um, the only two settings that you should be like messing around with is EE cycle rate and EE cycle skip. Now what these are is I actually don't know how <laughs> what these are, but I know that if you keep both of these at zero, um, you're emulating it at as perfectly or well, as close to the original console as possible. So uh, you'll get slowdowns and stuff it won't run at full speed all the time if you have a lower end device but uh, you will get a more authentic experience uh, but if you can change these for example uh, the this is the rate i recommend if you have let's say a snapdragon uh, 855 or an 845 or 835 uh, minus one and one this will allow you to run the games at full speed with minimal you know stuttering or visual glitches uh, but let's just keep it at zero so that I can show you how effective it is later and here in the graphics tab uh, you have uh, your upscale multipliers here you can change your native resolutions um, I prefer 2x but not all the games run at full speed at 2x there's also GPU rendering I recommend OpenGL, but Vulkan is also pretty good. Um, I don't like to mess around with any of these. Aspect ratio, uh, 16 by 9. And uh, one more thing that I'd like to recommend. It gave me like an instant 30% boost in um, FPS is GPU palette conversion. Okay, so that's, I think that's about all of, oh yeah, over here, software rendering threads, keep it to as much as possible anyway so that's about everything in the settings now uh, let's go test out some games now at first I'm going to try out Simpsons the hit and run I do have a load state but... oh yeah um, almost any controller works with this so if you have an Xbox controller or a PS4 controller uh, anyways, uh, so uh, I'm running this game at 2x native resolution, uh, which is 720p, and it's running at full speed without like any issues whatsoever. Now, not every game is gonna fare this well. But it works, so...
so uh, there was a f uh, drop right there it dropped to like 80 um, 90 95 and 91 so anyways this this is um, when I'm keeping the EE cycle rate at 0, zero. as you can see it drops uh, down to like 78 percent as well so what if uh, let's see what happens if I switch the EE cycle rate in systems I'll switch it to just the lowest amounts possible one and minus one and oh okay now as you can see the speed is at 100 percent all the time but there is an issue with this the issue is uh, the graphical glitches you see oh man okay so you don't actually notice it that much in this game but if you look at the backgrounds instead of the character you will see a little bit of stuttering now that's because of the e cycle rate but my speed is like uh, nearly 100 percent so um, that's what it is and if I just switch it to let's say um, minus three and uh, three then as you can see it will like not drop much but the graphical like glitches increase by a lot I mean it, it feels slower even though it's running at full speed there are the frames are being skipped and whatnot so I don't recommend playing it at um, this speed but if you have no other ways of like playing the game and if you really want to play it at full speed then you can do it at that and if you have like a lower end processor uh, so let's move on to um, another game So um, here I am with Jack and Dexter Precursor Legacy. Uh, it's running at 78%, 77% speed. Um, it's playable, it's definitely playable. It's not full speed though. Uh, it's running at 2x native resolution in some areas it'll do like better but in this area it's well, not that fortunate Now just to show you, like, see, it, it dropped like 50% speed over there, but I can't easily change this if I just go to settings, system, um, put it at, let's say, minus 2, this goes to 2, and the speed is back at 100%. And at, it dropped over here, but now it's not dropping at all. But you, as you, I don't know if you can see, but the graphical glitches are pretty bad. But it is running at full speed. So if you have truly no other options, you can try it out. But I don't really recommend it. So let's go and test out another game. So here I am testing out a Monster Hunters uh, Unite for the PS2 and uh, it really is, like it really runs well. 
uh, at least in the starting area from what I've seen. I haven't really gotten to any of the hunting yet, but I assume it will run well. Uh, there is a compatibility list a compatibility list if you want to go and uh, check it out. Uh, you can just go to any like, I guess um, website for AetherSX2 and you'll find a comp compatibility list there. I'm just going to hit continue, slot 1. So if you have any questions, please let me know down below. And if you need a tutorial for how to get the games and stuff, you can uh, let me know that as well. Uh, and I will probably try to upload another video on it. And, um, anyways, as you can see, the game is running fine uh, at 100% speed, 2x native resolution. Um, no messing around with EE cycles or whatever. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm probably going to stop here. But if you want to know how Silent Hill runs, um, Silent Hill's Origins runs perfectly fine, uh, full speed. Silent Hill 3 has a little harder time, but it is certainly playable if you... Um, let's say play it at 1x uh, As you can see, the game runs um, at full speed. Wow. That's a shocker. What the hell? No. Oh no. Controls need okay. Yeah. I have to edit the controls a little bit. Because this isn't really putting it. Okay. Come on, do this. Okay, so anyway, um, as you can see, the game is going great. Um, it's running at full speed, 2x resolution. I don't know what else I could want. Um, so that's about it. Goodbye. I will see you in the next video.